great iconic hopper. This is from 1929. It's the last great figural Edward Hopper painting in private hands uh, of his best period. All the others from this period are in the museum collections. Uh, so this is a big event you know, in, in uh, the art market. It's a big event for Hopper. It's a big event for Christie's uh, to have this here. Uh, as you see, it's got a classic figural composition. It's in an urban setting. It's a chop suey restaurant, hence the title. Uh, you can see the sign outside uh, the windows. As with a lot of Hopper, it's not an actual specific restaurant. It's a memory of the spaces uh, that he frequented. Uh, there's a chop suey restaurant on Columbus Circle that he went to. But another important name, in fact, the one he made is probably the, the restaurant with the model for the sign. Uh, uh, but it's about other things, a, a deeper layer, as it always is with Hopper. Uh, you've got four figures in this composition. None of them quite seem to be paying attention to each other. Uh, uh, there is a restaurant, there's no food on the table. As is often the case uh, with Hopper, there's, there's uh, something slightly off kilter in the picture, which draws us in, and also I think the fundamental element, which most great Hoppers have, uh, is there's no quick, easy answer as to what's happening in this picture. There's an element of ambiguity that he's asking us to be comfortable with. And I think that's what brings people back to Hopper over and over again, and why he is by far, I think, our best known uh, probably the most popular uh, modernist, certainly of the uh, first half of the 20th century. You could hardly begin a lecture on the first half of the 20th century in American art without talking about Hopper in depth. And this painting represents all the best things that you're looking for in his work. 